Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna taste some new products to the market that, I believe they're new, we'll have to clarify that, but they're bad. You should not try these. If you're tempted, uh, you shouldn't try them. There may be some good ones in here to throw us off. I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think we're gonna taste uh, two or three versions of something, and one is something that sports liked, and one is something they really oh. didn't like. And we're okay. trying to see if we can guess. Look at you, helping me out. Um, but first, let's check our voicemail. Hello, Red and Link. Hello? You may not know this superhero, but it is I, Fart Boy. <laughs> Carney, was that you? No, I wish. Is that why you liked it so much? Fart Boy? Fart boy. It is I fart boy. That got through. They all get through, right? I mean, what didn't get you through? You call the number. Like, what didn't make it to primetime? Think yeah, of all the voicemails that didn't make it to primetime, but fart boy did. Uh, welcome to primetime. And what, welcome, Gwyneth! Gwyneth, Gwyneth, I want you in the middle today. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 just, yeah, um, yeah. I wasn't prepared I, for I this. Think it's gonna be, I think this is going to be better. Hi. You've been over here some. Fart boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's at right. times. That's right. I'm not going to lie. At times. All right. So, well. who, 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 were we right about this? I mean, once Rhett told me what, how yeah, I was yeah. wrong about it. Okay. So, yeah, I can't say if these are new products. Usually, I'm coming here with new products. Today, I'm coming here with things that we tasted and specifically did not like. Um, right. I know it's kind of But we have two rude. versions of every one. So. so one of these things is the thing we didn't like. And the other one is something that we really, really liked. And it was the thing that we ranked highest on our list. Oh, so, th so, so the should best be and the worst. So the best and the worst. It should be obvious. But maybe it's not. Um, I'm really open to hearing your thoughts on some of these things. Y'all want to so. start with port rinds? I think we should. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we have Baconettes. Yeah. It's like, it's like Frito Lay's brand of okay, this pork is just rinds. Pork rinds, Who's pork brand? skins, traditional. Frito Lay. Oh. So they're like, I mean, you'll find those anywhere, gas stations, whatever. Oops. And then these. And that's pork king good. Yeah. Pork king good, salted butter flavored. Yes. Pork rinds. So, th so this one this goes with this. One. Yeah. I'll try that one. Salted butter. <laughs> okay. I can already tell that these are not going to be great because the salted butter flavor feels like, I mean, it smells weird. But okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh no, it's good to me. All right. <laughs> I think it might be better. <laughs> it it, it, mm, yeah, it tastes good. This might be All the right. best. This is pork and good, man. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Then you get that's a pork rind. That's a pork rind. That's a what lot. you want a pork rind to taste like. You want it to taste like like pig? a pork rind. It makes me think about pig. It makes me think about what it is. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to get, I, I, I think I'm going against you. These are the ones that you didn't like. Those are the ones we didn't like. Yeah. I think there's something about like the combination of it's salted butter now with that I've had that. pork skin that was like kind of unpleasing to us. Weirdly, this brand also had um, like a salt and vinegar flavor that I really liked. Well, pink, so it's not the pork salt. rinds themselves that are bad. It was just like that combination of like pork and it's salted butter. I know, and but it's also if the, you don't like pork rinds, you might like these. Well, okay. I think we can, you know what? One That's of the ways, the one, there's another way to, to create this dichotomy, and it's just like the one that good, you guys really liked and the one that everyone that you hated that Link will inevitably like every single time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, I, I mean, I this, 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 is is the, this is the pattern that we've established <laughs> over years is that he likes bad things. But also like, in <laughs> what situation true. are you ever in where you're like, I'm forced to eat pork rinds, so I might as yeah. well get the one that's, that's the a good farthest point. away. I do think that one of the strengths of Spork is that they not they don't just say what sucks, but they say what's good if you're into different things. So mm -hmm. this could be, if you really want to eat pork rinds, but you don't like pork rinds, then you'll love these because they suck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. is that, is that, I, I think they just suck. <laughs> like, if you don't like pork rinds, you're already gonna not like those because that's a bad version of a pork yeah. rind. But when you tasted them, before, taste, before giving it something to compare it to, you didn't hate well, it. Well, when I smelled it, I didn't <laughs> like it, but when I tasted it, I was like, okay, now. That's yeah, but when, then I tasted a real pork rind. Okay, I know I was gonna say so. Actually, you know what a pork rind is, though. 
I think that when you taste these things like in a vacuum, it's like you'd be like, I don't know, it's not that bad. But we're tasting like so many things head to head where some things like you take a bite and you're like, whoa, this is so bad. If you tasted it in a vacuum, it would be impossible (laughs) to get it into your mouth because everything would be coming out of you, including your eyeballs and your intestines would go right out your butthole. You're right. I don't know why I picked up this other pork rind. I kind of don't want to eat it. So your body would try to fill the entire space. If you try to eat in a vacuum, (laughs) if you can get to the point where you're trying to eat, I mean, first of all, you die pretty quickly because this has happened to people. There's actually been- uh, Really? There's been people who got into vacuum chambers and it turned on and it's real bad. What does it do to you? Um, what I mean, he said. I mean, you, it, you wait, explode. It means Your you butt explode. hole explodes. Mm-hmm. That's how fart boy was created. What? Fart boy. Fart boy. Yeah, that's yeah. the origin story of fart boy. Fart boy. Stuck in a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't want to do it. Impervious to. I will keep. Yeah, I will keep that in mind. We won't do vacuums. Any tests it's in a fart vacuum. boy. Okay, so next this Who is... Who are we going to send into this vacuum chamber it to is. rescue the documents? It is I. Because <laughs> it, ha- it can't be something living <laughs> in the vacuum chamber. Okay. Okay, what, so we got some What have we cheese. done here? This is... No, it's actually dairy-free Greek yogurt. Oh. Can and you pass so a spoon? I can. We so recently it. did a taste test. You get a spoon. Of... Let's start... No, no, Gwyneth. Oh. We have to... We have to... <laughs> We have to eat the same one at the same time. I already must so, stop. But you Look, now I'm eat that make... off of there this and just ignore bad. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Take a deep breath. You're mm-hmm. in our world now. Mm-hmm. If there's worse yogurt than this between these three, <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> very so surprised. Gross. Okay, I, if, if it gets worse than this, <laughs> I just feel for you. Oh, my Man, God. You love it, right? No, there's something. <laughs> a little fir- bit. At first, I'm like, come on. You're being too hard okay. on this. But then, hold on, before you go there, I'm, I'm still talking about yeah, this. He's comment, he's I'm commenting. so sorry. He's commenting on this right now. Gwyneth? It's important. Let's reset, you and I. Okay. Yeah. Have a pork rind. I have control issues. Okay. My issue is I want to control you. I'm going to just okay. sit nope. back. What? How, how, how do you interact with being controlled? Let you run the show. I'm actually really amenable to it. I think this could work out. <laughs> All right, see? <laughs> see, look at us. Just, hey, just follow my lead. Okay. I is was that saying, why you put her in the middle? Reset. Yeah. So I could put oh, the press on Oh, it was a control her. thing. I didn't okay. realize that. I, I, I do think there's something psychological about putting you in the middle is that we, we're really trying to, we're really going at you today. Rhett's trying. Rear? <laughs> well, I don't I, ever go after anybody. I definitely am. <laughs> Rhett's trying to control you into, into turning against my I don't my control opinion. anybody. Okay. Rhett's belittling my opinion and he's trying to bring you along for the ride. I do think this has. I just want you. I'm not belittling your opinion. I'm noticing a pattern that you like bad things. As I was saying, <laughs> I thought this was okay, and then I started to taste it, yeah. and it was like there was some sort of. It's like somebody ground up pills mm-hmm. and yeah. put in it. I don't like, know what they were thinking. How did it, this one? This is like the they, fart boy getting to the voicemail is like this yogurt getting out into the world. Are they trying to sneak some sort of like treatment into this? I don't know. Is this what you've been doing to me? Eat it, Link. Uh, You'll coconut, like it. It's coconut milk, which is not usually that Oh, that's bad. what it is. Yeah. That's, that's bad. I know. We've had other coconut milk. What do you want to do, do, you wanna do now? Um, This one is also Gwyneth, coconut milk. We're not onto that one yet. <laughs> I'm just Are joking. we onto the no, you know strawberry what? yet? Now you're in charge. Gwyneth, which, Gwyneth, let's eat the second. Okay. Yeah. Which one do you want to do? I'm going to try this one, too. Okay. Oh, oh my that's God. That's nice. That's got a tang to it. I think it's even worse. Oh. It's like. It's way better than that, Gwyneth. Okay. But it's like, the same as that, it has, but it has it, a flavor. It, it, has, so, it has tang to it. I, I will be honest. I brought both of these because I just couldn't remember which one we like. Like, really. The aftertaste. Like, like, this the tastes aftertaste like taste rotten horrible. cinnamon. Okay, rotten cinnamon and then... But the aftertaste is the same. You're it, just it, getting that... I've been drugged. You do land in the, exactly the same place. Like, initial reaction was like, this has got some fruit in it. It's got some tang in it. Yeah. And then I, I landed in... Badville. Tell I know, it. it just lives in your mouth. Do whatever you want to do with this. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, I want you. No, I really want you to be in charge. Tell me everything about that. Okay. So, this is another dairy free yogurt. Um, this is also made with coconut. So, okay, all right. but let's see what but we think must, about but it. It must be better. It's got to be better. It just tastes like yogurt. Isn't that delicious? It's like it's, it's silky. It's not, tri- I know. It's not trying too hard. And isn't that one called Silk? Yeah. But this one's not. Mm-hmm. So the one that's called one that's not called Silky is the Silky one. You can still tell that it's not r- real yogurt. Mm-hmm. 
but it doesn't have a crazy aftertaste. I think it tastes coconutty, but in a good way. And this just tastes like it tastes like coconut milk. If you don't like coconut milk, you still won't like that. But it tastes like the yogurt version of coconut milk. Vanilla chamomile. That's a fun flavor. That's so fun. I know. I don't. It seems like it would be really comforting. Mm -hmm. Are you comforted? I like that. I am. You know what? Bottoms up. This is a little paper-based cup. Waste isn't cool. Let's all go plastic neutral. Now, as you taste all these things, do you like? I know we end up having this conversation quite a bit on the show when we're tasting something mm-hmm. and we try to imagine how it got into the world. And like, there's I a know. company, like there's a company, uh, Silk. Yes. Right, right. That makes a lot of good products. Uh, proud right? member of the Danon family. Oh. Danone, but not. Danon. Danone. But it's D-A-N-O-N-E. Yeah, weird. Which oh. is not like Danon, D-A-N-N-O-N. Oh. Uh, they are in... Uh, Broomfield, Colorado, <laughs> right? So <laughs> beautiful Broomfield. Uh, so I'm just saying, like the, the people of Broomfield, of Broom. Colorado, like they work at this place, right? Like I mean, there's there's testing it, like they're mm. actually tasting it, yeah. Right? A, but essentially, a room of people is tasting this, yeah, and then being like, put it on the shelves, yeah. And you're, then it's, you're saying and then we people should, are we should, they it. should hire us instead. It just must be that people like it. Somebody likes it. I hire those guys, but they just can't seem to get along. That's the same company, by the way, Danon and Danone. Danone. They also own Activa. Activia. What is it? Activia. 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 Mm -hmm. Jamie Lee Curtis. Why is it so similar but so different? JLC. All right, so we're going. For, we're giving a big endorsement to the Coco Jeune. Yeah, that's good stuff, right? But Very I agree. Good. Like with the silk, it's just like how like so many people tasted this and were like, yeah. I like, mean, people have different tastes. I'm gonna tease Bag some tots, but we're gonna go in with cheese first. <gasps> Ooh. And we just want to remind you to, uh, you know, visit Spork. You can you can learn what you should buy, and in yeah. this case, what you shouldn't buy, and. Um, if you don't want to go to a website, let the website come to you. Sign up for the Spork newsletter. Uh-huh. You get the food rankings, product reviews. It gives you a nice, gentle prod to try something new next time you go to the grocery store. Free of charge. Sporked.com. Get a gentle pr- a gentle <laughs> yeah. prodding. Get a gentle prodding. Sporked. Doc- it ca- sporked does sound like a prodding. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got sporked last night. <laughs> yep. That's It'll a- be a great weekend. I'm going to be honest. I can already smell... The one, one you don't like. Of these. What is that? So this is nuts for cheese. She can do anything. It's unbelievable. Why are they? Why are okay. they talking about this cheese like as a woman? What do you think? She can do anything. Luscious, mild, and creamy. This versatile oh, no. wedge shines I alone, or as the that. better half of sweet and savory recipes alike. Why well, you gotta make the cheese a woman? It's very weird. There's also a woman on the package, though, right? What about man Margaret. cheese? Margaret. No. No. I want man cheese. No, you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't. No one wants man cheese. Now this, the way that it cuts and flops. I got here. I cut you a little bit. You oh, thank that? you. Is it unbelievable? It kind of tastes like building material. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> oh my god, it's way sour. It tastes like caulk. It doesn't taste. Ha. And I don't like, like I don't like, I might like man cheese, but I don't like caulk. Wow. Nice. I think my eyes are kind of like. <laughs> Did you just clap for my joke? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I genuinely enjoyed it. Thank you. Yep. Oh my God. This stuff. Look, I'm going you know, back. It's like yogurt. It's really the bad weird. yogurt. This has got a lot of oil in it. My oh eye. my gosh. What's wrong? All it right. tastes like cheese made out of human breast milk. <laughs> Because I've had breast milk <laughs> on the show. Oh my god! Give it a yank. You got a little over on your uh, mustache. Give it a little. A yank. little human breast milk. Oh, so shit. this has to be no, good. Her, this her is the our, cheese. Follow your heart since 1970. Smoked Gouda, dairy-free, oh, lactose-free, yeah. soy-free mm. slices. <laughs> I mean, nice smoky flavor. Mm. Huge diff. Still not real cheese, mm-hmm. but compared to that, yeah. So this was for our vegan cheese. Taste test. I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. Man. It's good. Good stuff. I might like it better than Gouda. See? You like fake Gouda better than real Gouda? It's very like smooth and like. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Duh. That would be good on a grilled cheese sandwich. 
Right. It looks like it would melt very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but these folks, man. There's no reviews on the package, though. So we got to go with our own opinions. Yeah. It is perishable. And this one's not weirdly gendered. So. <laughs> well, I think one of the things that happens, you got Margaret here, who's the who's a chef and founder and CEO no, of this. sorry, Margaret. Listen, I, listen, I appreciate what Margaret is, is doing for this company. And I will acknowledge that when you go vegan, your palate changes, right? And so Does maybe it? if Probably. you've got like this adjusted yeah. palate where you're eating vegan stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This somehow becomes good. Yeah, well, I think that's point. true. I think that's definitely true. If you have not had brie in years, then it's like going camping. You know, maybe yeah. When you have everything exactly. tastes good while camping, it's like vegans are like constantly you're camping. In a, you're in an yeah. isolated circle. It's just like camping their way through life. Yes, exactly. Vegan goggles. That's what they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So this we're on is, the same page with that one. This is it a sounds strong like. winner. Follow your heart. All right. Finally. Oh, thank you. Would you like a beverage? Wow. That is essential. Um, mm -hmm. Based on the pack. Okay, so this. I think this one that. could be a little bit of a. Ho, ho, this ho. This might be a little bit of a toss up. I don't know. We'll see. We got zucchini tots from Green Giant. Yes. Green Giant's done a lot of good things. In, in, and in a cauliflower time. hash brown from Strong Roots. Yes. I used to see the commercial with the Green Giant and think maybe I could be him when I grew up. You're quite tall. You could be him, you know, but I think he was always a cartoon. Did you did you ever consider him for Halloween? No, but maybe I should do that. It's coming up. You gotta get a haircut. That's a. I could I could wear a bald cap and then put leaves on top. Mm -hmm. His hair is leaves. Mm -hmm. Can't see from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, hair is leaves. Beautiful. He doesn't have a beard. He's kind of like the Hulk, but. More proportionate. Yeah, yeah he, he's just a he's, he's a, a he's, he's a, a proportionate guy. Hulk. He's very very tall. He's hot. He's like he's like a manscaped Hulk. You know. <laughs> I think this is uh, okay. if if the Hulk needed a stylist, he would go to the Jolly Green Giant. You know what I'm saying? These ripped purple pants just aren't doing it for you, sir. Come on, let me give you a a leaf ensemble. That um, looks bad. You feel like Your face makes it seem like it's bad. Okay. No. I'm what not I, good at hiding my emotions. What I'll say is that going into this, you know you're getting zucchini tots. You know what I'm saying? You're, the, the bar is so low going into this bite. Yeah. But it's pizza flavored. Mm hmm. That's not is really that coming fun? Through. It is. <laughs> Weird. I mean, on a scale of one to tater tot, it's a one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, does it have? It's more is like it a just pizza like bite. seasoning, or does it have like cheese or something? There's like I, it's goopy inside. There's goop in there. Oh, yeah, there there's is like goop? yeah, huh? There's, it's, there's like marinara goop. Yeah, and visible zucchini clops. There's reduced iron. <laughs> zucchini clops. Yeah. Okay, so if, if you just, if you fried it hard enough, and if, if it, it was, was crunchy really enough, really hot, and yeah, it was it was hard. Okay, okay. You know, I, I, just, I just realized what the problem is here. It's just that our ensembles clash. Yeah, oh. You should have never done that. You know, it's that. this. You shouldn't so have put sorry. each other right this is, plan this, ahead. Is, this is what's not working. Mm. That's why That's why, That's why. why we're not getting along today. Are we're we not, not getting we along not. today? I, I think... It, no, it, you took red side too much, hurt my feelings. You didn't let me great. control you completely. Okay. <laughs> and you shouldn't, by the way. <laughs> but I'm just saying because you didn't. No, I'll submit from now on. No, don't. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> don't you don't mm. you don't need to do that. You know we hired you to be you. Okay. And that's the best thing you can do. But we should plan our outfits in advance from now on. Yep. And you know what? We can alternate who's in charge. Okay. I think that sounds like a good plan. Mm. So here's my thought on this matter. I like these. Okay. I like them too. I think they're better when they're like cooked a little bit more. No. If it was straight out of the fire. No shade to whoever cooked them. But, They yeah. need to be a little crispier. There's no potato in this? But that's crazy right? that that's not potato. I really like the way you delivered that no shade line. Because, like, <laughs> you, la you laughed, you had a smile, and, like, it felt like, okay, like, yeah, no shade. But, like, really what you were saying is, like. Big shade? They really. <laughs> yeah, you put that person <laughs> under a tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. With a, and an umbrella was on no, top of that don't tree. Don't apologize. You, I really like the way that you did it. Yeah. Thank you, Stevie. Yeah. Um, but let me tell you. With some this, sauce on them. Those would be really Even good. when not prepared to your liking. Yes. 
It's I wouldn't I wouldn't know that it wasn't potato. Yeah, what is this place? I'm re I really freaked out about these because I think they are. So this was a taste test of like potato alternatives is what we called it. So it was like like uh, broccoli tots and cauliflower tots and zucchini tots. This is and wild. And then these are cauliflower, uh, cauliflower hash, hash browns, hash browns. Um, and crazy. I think that they are so convincingly potato-like. I've never had anything like it. Listen, you know what? Let's make somebody's day, all right? Uh, this place is called Strong Roots. Uh, they are uh, they, they in New York, New York, New mm. York, on 23rd Street. And they have an email address. And that email address is backofpack at strongroots.com. Hmm. And how, whatever you want to send them, just back make it pack. good. You know, like. Back of pack. Uh, mm -hmm. Back of pack at strongroots.com. Strong strong I think, I mean, I don't want you to lie and say that you just tasted these and that they're incredible and they changed your life, but I mean, <laughs> it's only going to make them feel good if you did. <laughs> You know, you could just say, I just watched something on a show on the internet and some people uh, that I watch really like these. No, no, no. Mention us specifically. Um, I mean, you can say whatever you want to, but just, you know, make somebody's day. I love that idea. Or write the potato board and make them feel stupid. I we know. We feed those can to my little girl. We, we feed those to my baby. These? Yeah, we do. Look at that. They're you great. Can, you can add that to your email. Don't piss in yet. <laughs> say, Car Carney, who uh, right, used to work girl. at a hot dog on a stick. Uh, recently had uh, a daughter and is now feeding the daughter exclusively <laughs> strong roots <laughs> cauliflower <laughs> hash browns. Feeding she is on a 100% hash brown diet. You can say that in your email. I mean, there's, you there can you say go. anything you want to, really. We're not going to control your email. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Especially not me. Not Link. Link's not going to tell you what to say in your email. Get the Spork newsletter delivered to your inbox every other week so you can be up to date on all the best things they're tasting. Subscribe at spork.com.